Come on, Walmart. I don't know. What do you need, babe? I'm trying. Here, here, I got extras. Huh? Oh, he doesn't wear that. Here, I have Yes. Your mom was cleaning you up. I've been doing this a long time. Never seen mommy cleaning up son at halftime. What was that like? Uh, having her, uh, the baby wipes, the deodorant, the uh, mommy saying she wants you to smell good for halftime. I gotta ask you about that. You know. My mom wanted some good pictures. She's a little picture lady, so I had to do what she says. I can still smell the deodorant. It still smells pretty good. How would you grade her cleanup skills at halftime? 10 out of 10. This game wrap is presented by R&D Custom Builders. You dream it, we build it. Proudly supporting area high school sports. By the Jason Glass Group. Jason Glass Group is the top sales team within the premier real estate brokerage in the greater San Antonio area, Phyllis Browning Company. And by the Shiner Booster Club, proudly supporting all the great athletes and teams in Shiner ISD. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great area high school and local sports coverage, TV, radio, and cheap web streams refuse to cover. And check out my Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and the UIL will love you if you do it. Thanks so much and enjoy the show. Poth and Shiner played a game for the ages last year in the 2022 season. The game went back and forth on the scoreboard. Dalton Brooks on fourth and goal at the two yard line scored with 10 seconds left to pull Shiner within one. Shiner went for two in the win. Brooks ran right, broke four or five tackles, ran left, and ended up scoring the game winning two point conversion as Shiner won that game. 22-21. The Comanches, though, had their two-year state championship win streak come to an end by their rival Refurio in the quarterfinals. Poth, meanwhile, all they did after that loss was go all the way to the 3A Division II state championship game for the first time in school history. The rematch taking place here in Poth at Jack Lane Field. The cast of characters on both sides are much different than last year. Dalton Brooks is now at Texas A&M trying to help Jimbo Fisher revive his offense as well as his defense. Meanwhile, Poth 1-1 one one of the season. They beat Falls City in the Polish Bowl 33-0 last week. Falls City will probably find themselves in the 2A Division II state championship game in the next year or two. As for Shiner, they are 0-2, trying to avoid their first 0-3 start since 2007. Ironically, that 07 team ended up winning nine games and made it to the third round of the playoffs that year. They also had a year about 10 years ago where they started 1-4 and, and ended up in the state quarterfinals. So bad starts for Shiner, not something that they're used to, but they're able to overcome them quite often. How would tonight's matchup play out? Well, let's take a look at the action presented by the Jason Glass Group and R&D Custom Builders. But before we check out the action on the field, Jack Lane Field is in a neighborhood here in Poth and right behind the home stands. One of the houses has a pool and with 104 degree kickoff temperature, uh, we might see a little bit of action from that pool, a la the Jacksonville Jaguars. They want a piece of you. They got no respect for it. They have no respect. I care and they have to do that. All right. Here we go. Make Let's sure go. we all got ready. Hit. Hop. Be short. Be short. Early on, Shiner head football and baseball coach Daniel Bedeker pulled a Dan Campbell going for it on fourth down deep in his own territory. Bedeker's fourth down risk worked as it led to a Kyle Mulestein touchdown catch from Carson Schutte, but that was the only points for Shiner on the night, though Schutte also had an interception on defense. Pass is intercepted. Intercepted was intended for eight. But a big sack by Nate Kopetke was a sign of things to come. Schutte brought down in the backfield by Nate Kopetke.
Fourth and Stevens pass complete. Touchdown, number three, Gabriel Selansky. Fumble is recovered by number 22, Antonio De Hoyas. Get low so they don't hit you in the back of the head with the one. Good, good. 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 Everybody know what we're doing. Get your ass off! Let's go, Block! Shiner had two drives going to post territory in the second quarter, but they didn't score on either one. Meanwhile, Selinski had a touchdown catch and another touchdown run in the first half. The first one, the line blocked great, blocking their ass off. They've been working off, working out in practice every day, and it was a wide open shot. Second one, you know, people can't really, they're really playing one-on-one, -on -one, just take a shot, make a play. We're just disciplined and motivated. Our motivation carries us everywhere. We're just playing disciplined football, as Coach told us, and playing lights out. While he gets cleaned up by mommy, we'll take a break and be back with more after this from R&D Custom Builders. Second half was all defense for both. They forced three turnovers, two by Luke Rogers, and the Comanche offense, which had been so successful last year versus Poth in the second half, didn't have it this time around. They had less than 100 second half yards as Poth beat Shiner 31-7 to avenge last year's loss. Last year we couldn't stop them in the second half after after they started scoring, so this year we had it in the back of our mind the whole second half that last year we gave it up in the second half, and this year we can't do that, so we gotta go out and, and perform like we know how to. We just stepped up. I mean, our defense uh, saw that it was a close score coming into the second half. It was 17-7, to so we knew we had to hold them, and our offense was going to be able to score. So we came out hot and fired up and, and ready to go. As mentioned earlier, the last time Shiner started 0-3 was 2007. That team won nine straight and reached the third round of the 2A playoffs that year. Reporting from Poth, I am the always dolled up Mr. Bowtie.